rested on the foundations of faith. How is power used when power rests on the foundations of faith? He traveled to the setting of the sun, to the west, because the sun normally rises in the east, even in Mali, is it? In the east, yeah. And he traveled to a place where there was water, a large body of water. You can't go beyond that. And the water was described. And our early Mufassirud were able to recognize that it was the Black Sea. It was dark, murky colored water, the Black Sea. And so you're traveling along the Caucasus Mountains. In this book, I have actually shown photographs of that area which is traveled. And there you came across a people, and Allah says, well, how you will you use power with these people? And he responded and he said, those who commit acts of wickedness, of oppression, of thulam, I will punish them. And when they return to you, you will also punish them. And so power is used to punish the oppressor. Did you hear that? And when power is used to punish the oppressor, there will be harmony between the world here and the, and the world above. And then he said, I will reward those who have faith and who are righteous in conduct, treat them nicely. And so when power rests on the foundations of faith, power will promote the way of life of the true one true religion. Power will promote and preserve the righteous way of life, the way of life of piety. What a world it could have been. And then he traveled in the opposite direction, in the direction of the set of the rising of the sun. And since he travels to the end, it follows that he must also have traveled to a body of water beyond which he could not go. It's the two ends of the earth. And we've identified that. I don't have the time to provide all the evidence, but in this book we recognize it as the Caspian Sea. On this side is the Black Sea, on that side is the Caspian Sea, and between them two is the, ca the Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus, Caucasian, white Caucasian. <laughs> why are they called? Why are they all called white Caucasian? And they have no links with the Caucasus. Caucasus, Caucasian. Mm. And over here he came across the people for whom we had provided no sitter. Minduniha, other than the natural sitter. A people living an essentially primitive way of life, with no protection from the elements other than that which is normal and natural for primitive people. When you come to such a people and you have power and your power rests on the foundation of the faith, how do you relate with them? Number one, Zulkarnain had the compassion, the wisdom, the common sense to allow them to live unmolested, undisturbed, the primitive way of life. He didn't take their land from them at gunpoint and then reduce them to people living on reservations in North America. <laughs> Am I wrong to point this out? Are you going to be annoyed with me for pointing this out? When Europe went to North America, that's what they found. A people living a primitive way of life, a natural way of life. 
they will hunt for only that much that they needed to eat. And they, excuse the word, they worshipped nature. Not worship in the blasphemous sense of the word, but they respected nature. They loved the clouds, they loved the flowers, they loved the earth. They respected the environment. For them it was blasphemous to corrupt the river and to pour raw sewage or treated sewage into a river or to the coastal waters. These people who didn't have PhDs from Harvard and Yale would look in horror. Are these human beings or are these beasts with their cell phones and their internet and their flying donkeys? I'm not impressed by all of that scientific and technological advancement. It doesn't impress me if you're taking sewage and pouring it into a river. You're not a human being. Can't you respect the earth? And so Zulkarnain had the compassion, the good sense, the wisdom to protect their way of life and leave them undisturbed. But more than that, suppose these people are sitting on oil in Brazil and there's so much oil in the Caspian. Eh? Are you going to drive them off the land so you can exploit the oil? They're doing that every day, every day. When power rests on the foundations of faith, then the rights of a human being supersede your rights to the economic resources of the land in which they live. Their rights come first. The human being comes first. And the oil on which he sits is not as important as his right as a human being. Kathalika. Allah says, He left them as they were. And we understood, we understood how He responded. The language of the Quran is agonizingly brief. I can't find any other word to use. Kathalik. Agonizingly brief. And then he traveled in the third direction, but the rabbis had only spoken about two, two ends of the earth. The reason why they asked about two is because they wanted to know whether you knew about the third. And Allah now responds and gives them the third. He traveled in a direction that we can recognize to be north. And there's evidence in this book to provide why it is north. And he came across a people between two mountain ranges. Saddain. And uh, a pass between two mountain ranges. And there was a unique characteristic of this people by which you could identify them 5,000 years later. They spoke a language. That was unique. It was a language unrelated to all the linguistic families around them. It was not Indo-Aryan. <laughs> it was a solitary, unique language. Today we can recognize the Georgian language on the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains to be precise.